Mr. Bass here. Today I am going to be reviewing this backpack tackle bag. And part of the reason I'm doing this is a subscriber asked me to do some reviews on some backpack style tackle bags. And as I started looking into them, I thought, you know, there's a lot of good reasons to do this. And so I'm going to be doing a series of uh, reviews on quite a few of the, what I think are kind of some of the best looking uh, and best functional tackle bags out on the market currently. So I'm, I'm starting with this bag from Bass Pro Shops. This is called the Advanced Anglers 2 Backpack. Um, this is this green uh, series of bags, the Advanced Angler bags, were actually originally from Cabela's. And I bought several of the of their regular tackle bags at Cabela's years ago to use as a co-angler. They are practical bags, they are solid, sturdy bags, and they have some really nice pockets and features that uh, are really good for co-angling. Uh, one thing that I think it, that is important is as a co-angler, I fish tournaments as a co-angler a lot of times on the BASS Opens and on the Toyota Series uh, now. <laughs> And you need a bag that's functional, but that also is portable. And I don't generally use a backpack as a co-angler. I have another bag that I really prefer. But I know a lot of co-anglers do use backpacks, and it makes a lot of sense because you've got to be mobile. You've got to be able to get all your gear from your vehicle down to a boat somewhere. A lot of times there's a lot of walking involved. So the backpack idea makes sense, and hopefully this will help some of you guys that are thinking about fishing as co-anglers or are already co-anglers looking for tackle bags. Also, this is a great bag for a bank angler. If you don't have a boat and you're looking to uh, fish at ponds and things of that nature, or my good buddy Joe didn't have a boat for quite a while, he had a backpack that he used because he went from boat to boat to boat fishing with buddies and a mobile backpack is a great idea. So what does this uh, bag have to offer? I, I One of the things that I think is attractive about it is that it's got a lot of pockets. It's got a lot of, a lot of places to store tackle. And that's very important, I would say, to me and, and hopefully it is to you as well. Let me show you the pockets that are just on the front of the bag first. We'll start with this sunglasses pocket. All of the zipper pulls are, are nice pulls with a little rubberized handle and uh, that just kind of helps. I, I don't like that the zippers are not YKK zippers. They're a cheaper brand of zipper and I think over time as I've looked at this bag, my guess is that the zippers are going to be where you get the failure at some point uh, over anything else. But uh, this, this uh, is a pretty good size uh, compartment for your sunglasses. It does not have uh, cloth or fabric in there to keep from scratching, but it, it looks decent. Uh, behind the sunglass uh, pouch, there's another zipper pocket. And this is a real skinny pocket, uh, but it is flexible. It pushes into the main compartment, but you could put things like uh, wallets and stuff like that in there. Small things, some soft plastics if you wanted. Below that is, is more of a fishing compartment, uh, an exterior fishing compartment. It's got an outer pocket that also is very thin with a Velcro uh, closure. And then it has uh, a zipper that the lid opens all the way down. And inside it, it has a little uh, Plano box. Or this is a Bass Pro version, but you know, it's, it's made by Plano. This is a, a Model 3500 series box. It fits in there well like so. And behind it is a waterproof pouch for a cell phone or you could also put other valuables in there that you wanted to keep dry. This is the only thing that they claim to be completely waterproof. So that's how that bag, how that fits in there. Alright, then below uh, you have a rubberized uh, mesh pocket and this mesh is not just fabric, it is a strong rubber material of some kind. All of these advanced angler bags have this kind of mesh on the outside of their bags and I like it a lot. Then there is a zip pocket here that has a pretty good amount of room 
that same tackle box that's in this pocket could fit in there fine. It also has a strap with a hook for your keys. Uh, not bad. And then below, behind it is the actual opening, two different zippers to get into the main area of the bag where your main accessible tackle boxes are at. It also has a mesh zipper pocket on the inside of this lid. It's just plain mesh, fabric mesh. It's not the rubberized mesh. It comes with two 3600 series Plano boxes and it holds five. And I'll show you, I've got a couple others here. I'll just show you how they fit into the bag. So you can see, obviously as a co-angler, you would be taking as much tackle as possible. So you would use all five boxes, but they fit well and wouldn't be an issue. The only thing I'm not super excited about is as a co-angler, I think speed and convenience is really important. And this lid, because it's kind of super floppy, just does not zip up very well. Let's see, there it goes. And <laughs> fishing as a co-angler over time, that would really start to annoy me. So I don't like that, but other than that, I think it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll just say while I'm thinking about it, the material here is a 600 denier fabric. It uh, is uh, rip resistant and it's water resistant, but it is not waterproof. So just keep that in mind. If you have this bag out in the open, raining, uh, it's going to get wet. But they have a solution for that. There's a zipper pocket here in the back and they have a built-in rain cover right here for it. So let me just show you what that looks like if you put it on. Actually I tried this before and I think the way you want to do it is it's attached with the strap. If you run the strap underneath to the front of the bag then this goes stretches over the front like so. And then you can Kind of cram all these straps and put them inside the rain cover. Pull it up. It does leave an open hole in the back, so it's not complete, doesn't cover the entire bag, but the vast majority of it is covered. And that's a nice deal if you know, well, if you fish as a co angler out on a bass boat, you're going to have to fish in the rain sometimes and it's nice to keep your tackle dry, especially if you got a multi-day event that you're fishing. When a lot of those tournaments are two and three, sometimes even four days. So that's nice. Not all of these backpack bags have a, a rain cover. And uh, it just fits very nicely in the bottom of the bag. Zips out of the way. And I think that's a very nice feature for sure. It also has some pockets on the sides, and these are identical on both sides. Uh, they have compression straps on either side, which is nice if you, you're wanting to compress it down. If you're planning on hiking a long way, compressing the pack down it makes a lot of sense. Also, if you're traveling, it's a good idea to use the compression straps. But they got two big, long pockets on either side, both sides. They go all the way down long cylindrical pockets. You could use that for a lot of things including large water bottles if you wanted. There's a mesh pocket on the outside that you could put spools of line in. You could also use for water bottles. In fact I'll show you how a water bottle fits in there. This is a 16 ounce bottle and it fits quite well in there. There's also a pocket here for tools, pliers, uh, that kind of thing. It's Velcroed. I've got a pair of pliers here. I can show you how it fits in there. A pair of needle nose. And with a Velcro closure, it fits and holds in there quite nicely. And of course, there's one on this side too. There's two, two of each. Two mesh pockets, two tool holders, two long pockets. So that's the sides. 
Then you have a main compartment that uh, you can access. Got two zippers here all the way around if you like. <coughs> the zippers come about three-fourths of the way down, but they don't go all the way down. And to me, that's unfortunate because you cannot open this completely up. And I think it would be nice to be able to do that. Uh, but when you open it, you have access to the same five tackle boxes in the, that you could get in the front. You can get this way. There's also a little Velcroed shelf that's attached here. And as you can see, you can take it completely out if you want. But you could put stuff in here. But you can't put a 3600 size box. It won't fit. You could if you kind of stood it up on an end like that. Uh... But because the bag curves down, it takes some of the space out of the top portion there. But it's definitely more storage space. Uh, then in the back side of the back, there is a big pocket here that uh, has a 3700 box. This comes with the bag. Uh, it also, uh, you could put a hydration bladder in here. They have a loop here to hold the hydration bladder. And they've got a hole through the top for your... Um, hose to drink out of. So it is uh, bla hydration bladder compatible. Also if you were going to travel with this bag you could use this pocket you know for a laptop or anything like that as well. It's not it's not uh, padded or protected but you could do that. So that kind of shows you all of the space uh, and the pockets and it, it's got a lot of stuff. A lot, of, a lot of ways to put your tackle in. Now on the back, if you look at the, the here's the hydration hole. Uh, it has a handle, carry handle. It has two padded straps with airflow mesh. You can see that probably. Along with these mesh padded airflow panels so that you can get some air circulating behind between your back and the uh, pack which is nice especially on hot days it also has these molly loops that you could use to attach you know whatever you wanted to if you were going if you're really hiking long places it also has a chest strap and a waist strap so uh, if you're really wanting to take a bag into the bush and hike hike to your favorite little pond or lake out in the woods somewhere this bag is really made to, to do that. Let me show you how it fits if you wear it. It uh, has adjustable shoulder straps and they're comfortable. Uh, the, the little uh, loops here, hooks, whatever you call these things that the, that the straps go through feel kind of cheap to me. But it does have a sternum strap here for long journeys, which is good. And of course you've got the waist strap and you can tighten it both directions like that. It fits on the back quite well. Um, you know, I think, gener think generally speaking, it's a very decent bag. And uh, would I recommend this for a co-angler? <laughs> It, it really depends. I, I feel, generally speaking, although it's got a lot of things I would be looking for as a co-angler, it does just feel like the quality's not just awesome. It feels like a made-in-China bag, unfortunately. And I, and I wonder if the quality maybe has gone down a little bit since it went from Cabela's to Bass Pro. I don't know that. I haven't checked into that. But it doesn't feel like the quality is as good as the other advanced angler bags I've had in the past. So generally speaking, I think for $90, this would not be my favorite bag, but it's a decent bag. And um, if you have this bag and you really love it, how about putting in the comments why you love it and why you think it's a great deal. I'd love to hear that. And uh, I'm sure the, the other viewers would like to know that as well. So. This is the uh, Advanced Anglers Backpack Number 2 from Bass Pro Shops. I hope this uh, video has been enjoyable and informative, helpful. 
If so, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell to find out when I'm posting the next backpack video. It will be coming out shortly. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!